Olympic premium paint, environmentally preferred, zero VOCs, all this at a great price, starting at $17 per gallon. Home begins with an Olympic finish. Team from Rockville. Quince Orchard. And Blake meet today for the Washington Championship of its academic. Each team begins with 100 points, 10 up for a right answer, 10 off for a wrong answer. In this round, the contestants here in the studio don't see the writing on their screens that you do at home. Team whose light is on first has a chance to answer. You may want to ask your parents for help here because these questions are all about events that took place in 1990. Can you believe that's 20 years ago? See if you can identify the following. Number one, NASA launched this space telescope. Okay, Rockville. Hubble. Hubble is right. Britain re-established relations with Argentina. All right, the Rockville. Falklands. Falkland Islands. After the Falkland Islands War is right. This American author published Rabbit at Rest. Blake. Updike. Updike. Updike is right. The Nobel Peace Prize went to this last president of... All right, Quince Orchard. Your answer. Havel. You know, it's Gorbachev, so 10 down. He formally took the throne as the 125th Japanese emperor, Quince Orchard. Akihita. Right. Death claimed this American composer of West Side Story, Rockville. Your answer. Bernstein. That's right. Independence was declared in Riga by this Baltic, Rockville. Latvia. Rock Latvia is right. And finally, there was great popular acclaim for these teenage mutant ninja animals, Blake. Turtles. Turtles is right. And there's the opening round of It's Academic. <laughs> It's Academic with Mac McGarry. Sponsored by Giant. New things are happening at Giant. Everybody, I've got a special show for you today. Welcome to It's Academic, the championship match, where the schools are competing for a share of $10,000 in giant food scholarship grants. Later in the show, we'll have three prominent guest questioners, and Robin Michelle, the president of Giant Food, will announce the winner of the Sophie Altman Coach of the Year Award. Now let's meet team number one. Each of our teams has already run two games to get here. This is Rockville High in, of course, Rockville, Maryland. We're going to introduce them and just go right on because you've met them before. Raheel Awan, Greg Rind, and Tyler Babbage. Now, Greg, your flowers in the lapels have a special significance. Tell us about it, please. Uh, we wear these flowers today to uh, commemorate our former coach, Dr. Bob Lerner, who uh, recently passed away this month uh, right. due to uh, pulmonary fibrosis. So right, we wear these to commemorate him. Thank you very much, uh, Greg. All right, now, teams, let's uh, get to the screen and see how you do with 20 points for each correct answer. A coma now. Hidden here is the name of what Mideastern Sultanate, whose capital city is Muscat. Oman. That's right. Next, Zizek Road, probably last alphabetically among American roadways. This California road is located in what M initial desert that also includes the Joshua Tree National Monument. Mojave. Right. I have a native land and it's the blank language. To complete this quote from Albert Camus, add what European language in which the Algerian born Camus did much of his writing. French. Right. Nicholas Nickleby, Toby Tyler, David Copperfield. Which one of these titled characters was not created by Charles Dickens? Toby Tyler. The second choice. Toby Tyler is right. We don't grow older, we grow riper. <laughs> these were the words of what modern Spanish painter who himself grew to a ripe old age after going through his famous blue and cubist periods. Picasso. You had them all, Rockville, so 240 after your part of the round. Very good job. And you'll be hearing the Rockville drum line and meeting the step, step dancers a little later on. Here's the uh, Quince Orchard team, Chris Manners, Sean Reedy, and David Cohen. 
All right, fellas, let's uh, take a look at the screen and see how you do in this round. Omaha Noise Ordinance. Look carefully at this phrase. You'll find within it what capital city of Vietnam? Hanoi. Right. Nick's nose cave, Joe Bat's arm. If you Google these phrases, you'll learn they are the names of small towns in what N initial Canadian province linked to Labrador? Newfoundland. 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 Newfoundland is right. But West Blank. Fill in the blanks here and you'll complete the last name of one American who invented the air brake in 1868. Westinghouse. 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 Westinghouse is right. Ethel read the unready, Edward the Confessor and Robert the Bruce, Mac the McGarry. Of these historical figures, which one worked most of his life to secure the independence of Scotland, Robert which he ruled in the 14th century? Robert the Bruce. That's right. Finally, oh beautiful music, do not cease. Edna St. Vincent Millay wrote this in a poem titled, On Hearing a Symphony, by what German composer whose ninth symphony requires a chorus? Beethoven. You have it? Beethoven? Beethoven is right. So good run there, Quinto. You're 200 after your five there, right? Now get it right this time. Here's the team from Blake, also a two-time winner, and they are Connor Wallace, Isaac Hirsch, and Lucas Irvin. All right, fellas, take a look at your screen, and let's see how you do in this round. Candies elicit smiles. You'll smile, too, if you can find in this sentence the last name of what German engineer who developed a type of engine that still bears his name. Diesel. Rudolf Diesel is right. Euclid Mathematics. Google these words and you'll find entries on what branch of mathematics Geometry. whose plain and solid concepts were discussed in Euclid's 13 books titled Elements. Geometry. Right. In Flanders Fields, the blank grow. Poor John McRae was writing about a World War I cemetery when he noted that growing among the markers were what decorative flowers that are the source of opium. Poppies. Poppies. Poppies is right. Darius Zoroaster Xerxes, two of these men were political leaders in ancient Persia. Which one was Persia's great religious leader? Z Zoroaster. Right. A sort of oratory of power by means of forms. When Nietzsche wrote these words, he was talking about what profession associated with Christopher Wren and Frank Lloyd Wright? Architecture. Architecture. That's good. You had them all. The Blake 220 and the end of the round. My husband is very much a meat and potatoes guy, and I'm kind of the healthy one. Right. I like to eat as healthy as I can, and I like to know that I'm serving good food. Can I help you with that? Okay. When it comes to shopping, it is an art of balancing. We know good food is important. At Giant, enjoy quality meats and the freshest produce at prices you can handle, like sweet cherries, $1.57 a pound, and porterhouse steak, $4.97 a pound, this week only. Feeling good about what I'm making, that works for me. First time that I saw a sporting event on Fios in high definition. You see detail that you didn't even know was there. I'm standing like a little kid saying, wow. As if Verizon Fios wasn't amazing enough, we've added something new, a worry-free guarantee. If you're not completely satisfied, you have the freedom to cancel. There's no term contract required. The Fios installation was wonderful. I actually sent a note to the service guy. I was so pleased. Time to switch to Fios. Call 1-888-GET-FIOS. You couldn't make me give up Fios. cheerleaders and uh, welcome back now we'll double check the scores before we get into the visual round as you would expect in a championship match it's very close rockville has 240 quince orchard 200 blake 220 very tight here <laughs> now we'll go to an all visual round each correct answer is worth 10 then all for a wrong answer and the team was light is on there first has a chance let's take a look here at number one a squirrel's tail is not just decoration it acts as both a parachute and as what our initial part of a boat's stern, uh, Blake. Rotor. Uh, rudder is right. Yes, that's good. Britain's Parliament building, seen here through the mist, is famous for its clock. All right, Blake. Big Ben. Big Ben is the man. That's right. This portrait of Giuliano de Medico is the work of what B initial Renaissance artist, uh, Rockville. Botticelli. Botticelli is right. Perform next the indicated operation, Rockville. Ten. Ten is right. This is Newfoundland's Signal Hill, so named because in 1901, 
This site received the first transatlantic wireless signal. Blake. Yeah, Field. Sent by Guglielmo Marconi. So 10 points down. Each year, thousands of animals migrate across what massive uh, Prince Orchard? Serengeti. Yeah. Serengeti. Serengeti Plain, that's right, in Tanzania. More than 600 million years ago, these sandstone cliffs rise majestically in what African country where Bamako is the capital, Rockville. Mali. Mali is right. This peaceful painting of Lady in a Garden was completed in what year that saw the sinking of the Titanic? Blake. 1912. That's good, and there's the end of the visual round. <laughs> Gas is very expensive, and just when you think the gas prices are going down, they go back up again. We know saving money is important. This summer, shop with your giant card and save on Shell Fuel. Earn one point for every dollar you spend. Every 100 points earned gets you another 10 cents off per gallon. The more you spend, the more you save. I'm saving money at the store, I'm saving money at the pump, and that works for me. More savings every time you shop, only with your giant card. You gotta see this triple play. With Xfinity, you get an on-demand library of your favorite movies and shows. That you can watch instantly on your TV or your computer anywhere, anytime. There's even Xfinity Voice. Rated number one in call clarity. I mean, honestly, how clear is that? It's really clear. Crystal clear! <laughs> I get enthusiastic and then it just gets loud. Get the Xfinity Triple Play for just $99 a month for 12 months, or step up to the HD Triple Play and get up to $200 back. Okay, thank you, ladies. The Blake Step Team, well, it's the Blake the Drum Line you'll be hearing from, I'm sure. Now let's uh, double check the scores as we introduce our faculty coaches and administrators who are such an important part of this program. The team from Rockville has the lead at 270. Greg, please introduce your guests. Uh, to my right is our principal, Deborah Monk. Behind me is our head coach, Dave Goodrich. And to my left is our assistant coach, Mike Smith. Hip, hip, hooray! Thank you. The team from Prince Orchard is right in this game at 210. All right, Sean, your turn. To my right is our coach, Mr. Schumann, and to my left is our principal, Mrs. Working. Thank you both for being with us. And here in second place, the team from Blake with the, uh, go ahead, Isaac. Uh, from my right is our coach, our coaches, Joe Caulfield, uh, Mr. Keegan, Ms. Moeller, and our principal, Carol Goodman. Formidable, I must say, very good. Okay, now teams, we move on to the next round where each correct answer is again worth 20. You'll see how it goes as we go from team to team. Rockville is up first, so Quince Orchard, select a pack for them, please. One, two, or three? I'm um, three. Three, okay, here you go. It's 20 points for each a correct answer in this round. Here we are. Among the eyewitnesses to the 1941 Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor was writer Edgar Rice Burroughs, who had created what man of the jungle? Tarzan. Tarzan is right. The elegant Tuileries in Paris border what building that's now a world-famous museum? Louvre. Louvre. Right. What current cabinet department might be appropriately headed by the Roman goddess Ceres or her Greek counterpart Demeter? Agriculture. Agriculture. That is right. Check the screen for a science question. And we see Mariana or Mariana's Trench, Hall's Abyss, North Tasman Depth. Which of these is the lowest region on the Earth's surface, the deepest part of the ocean floor? The first choice. Mariana is right. Playwright George Bernard Shaw gave the name General Fortinbras to a character based on what Spanish dictator who came to power in 1936? Franca. Franca. Right. Despite its grim title and even grimmer story, Angela's Ashes was a bestseller for what author? You have it? Frank McCourt was the answer there. Now check the screen for a math question. Simplify this expression, giving your answer as an integer. Five. That's right. Now our guest questioner today in this round is Ms. Andrea Mitchell of NBC News. The United States recently restored full diplomatic relations with what North African country long ruled by Muammar Gaddafi? Libya. Libya is right. So Rockville 410 after your part of the world. Okay. All right, now it's a turn for Quince Orchard. So Blake, select for them, please. Isaac, which two. one? Uh, Number two, two, please. Number two. Okay, here you go. Chris, Sean, and David with your turn in this round. 
Two American presidents have had sons who were awarded what highest American military decoration? Medal of Honor. That's right, the Hayes and Teddy Roosevelt's sons. The ancient sculptor Carries of Lindos is credited with designing what huge statue that stood at the harbor of Rhodes. Colossus. 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 Right. Just as religious Muslims travel to Mecca, so Hindus flock to Var Varanasi, a religious center on what holy Indian river? Ganges. Ganges. Uh, yes, that's right. Now on the screen, your science question, and we see 50 grams, 1,000, 100. Which of these is the approximate mass in grams of one liter of water at room temperature? 1,000. 1,000? 1,000 is right. Before the Celts or Celts settled in Scotland, that region was largely occupied by tribes known by what short P initials name? Picard. Picard? No, I'm sorry, Picts is what we needed there, no points. You may change your mind about going mountain climbing after reading what authors work into thin air. You have that? John Krakauer is the answer there. Math question on the screen. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. 100. That's good. Now let's see how our next uh, special guest quiz master, Dr. Rick Potts, head of the Hall of Human Origins at the National Museum of Natural History. Today, paints come in many colors, but the oldest known pigments were just red and yellow. They were used 250,000 years ago in the area that's now what country, whose capital is Lusaka? Your answer? Lusaka. 